For weeks, this elephant refused to eat and would cry every day at the zoo. Her caretakers were confused, and there was nothing that could explain this sudden change in her behavior. But then, a familiar person was brought back to the zoo, and his presence changed everything. What are we going to do about her? This was something that zookeepers worried about every single day for the past month. Now, Martha, the elephant, was apathetic, barely alert. Everything suggested that her time was running out. To them, Martha wasn't just an elephant. She was the pride and joy of the wildlife park and a strong favorite among many. Martha was also someone that they saw as a friend. She had been brought into the park at a very young age, and most of the people there had seen her grow from a calf into what she was today. Martha was usually jovial and would sometimes play pranks on the staff to stop them from leaving or to attend to other animals. Elephants are complex and intelligent animals with rich emotional lives, and seeing her with so much joy and affection was heartwarming to the zookeepers. But everything had changed. On most days, she refused to eat or drink anything and would only eat something after being coaxed several times. This was highly unusual for an animal who once eagerly ate all her meals. The look in her eyes often expressed sadness and a sense of loss. A couple of zookeepers had also caught her crying at unexpected times and were still trying to figure out what had happened. They had to do something, or else Martha would eventually fall into a deep depression, from which it would be almost impossible for anyone to pull her out. The repercussions would be dire. She might even decide to retreat into solitude and starve herself to death. The caretakers had accepted that they didn't have what it took to help her recover. In his desperation, the manager reached out to an old friend named Alexei, asking for his help. Each day pushed her closer to the brink, and there was no one else he knew who was capable of giving Martha the support she required. The friend agreed to come. Two days later, he arrived at the zoo. He was a professional with experience dealing with wildlife, especially elephants. By the time he arrived, the situation had not changed one iota. Martha was still lying in her enclosure languid, her appetite completely absent. Martha, it's me, Alexei said as he inched closer to the elephant. Why are you giving them so much trouble? He asked once again. Martha's ears perked up, and she immediately turned her head toward the source of the sound. Her refusal to eat had made her weak, but nevertheless she jumped on her feet and began to slowly approach him. This was the person she had been waiting for. As she walked towards him, Alexei couldn't help but remember the first time he ever came in contact with Martha. And that Martha was one year old when she had been brought to the wildlife park. She was an orphan, and the loss of her mom at such a young age had made Martha a bit shy and timid. She had no interest in bonding with any of her caretakers and would often avoid the touch of humans who she believed were responsible for her mother's disappearance. Just as she was trying to adjust to a new environment, the park decided to bring in a new helping hand. This was 23-year-old Alexei. He had just been employed as a volunteer, but he didn't plan to remain one for long. Taking care of animals was something that Alexei always pictured himself doing. But while he was excited to work with all kinds of animals, Alexei had a keen interest in working to preserve wildlife. He had always read and watched about the struggle to preserve these animals' continued existence in our ever-changing world. He wanted to fight for these animals who had no voice of their own, and wanted to make his mark in that space. Getting a chance to work as a volunteer in the wildlife park was a dream come true. This was his first job ever, and he hoped that soon he would prove himself as an asset and perhaps get a full employment opportunity from the park. Soon after being welcomed aboard the team, Alexei was assigned to work as an assistant under a caretaker. He was told about Martha and how the park had struggled to get her to come out of her shell since she was brought there. Martha's mother had been killed by poachers, and at such a young age she had suffered from psychological trauma as a result. The goal of their team was to help her feel safe in her new environment and get Martha to trust the caretakers and bond with them. Her ability to form a meaningful connection with them was crucial in order to stop her from feeling alone. However, Alexei didn't understand how difficult the task in front of them was until he stood face to face with Martha. 
She would only react to the food offered by the caretaker and would step away whenever he tried to touch her. The attempt to get her to play with them fell on deaf ears as she would lie on the floor, pretending that they were no longer there. When Alexei also tried to come close to her, she reacted negatively since he was someone she had never seen before and trusted him less than others. Every day Alexei arrived, he was faced with the same resistance, which only indicated how deeply Martha had been scarred from the loss of her mother. During his free time, Alexei pored over books and asked for advice from some of the wildlife experts he had met before arriving at the park. While he couldn't force Martha to accept him, Alexei realized that he had to show her every day just how much he cared for her. One month after he had been introduced to the elephant, Alexei and the caretaker arrived at the elephant enclosure, carrying with them Martha's meal. She ate and once again proceeded to lie down, waiting patiently for her caretakers to leave. Instead of walking away with the rest of the staff, Alexei asked to stay behind. This was his last task for the day, and he wanted to spend a few extra minutes before he returned home. He was allowed to do so and found a log to sit down on. Just like humans, elephants are empathetic and have learned to listen and interpret human voices. Alexei planned to rely on Martha's innate ability to detect emotions to get through to her and break down her walls. He began to talk to her about his day and things that had happened around the wildlife park. There was no method to his madness, and he spoke about everything that crossed his mind. Alexei noticed that Martha's ears perked up when she heard his laughter. But apart from that, she gave no visible signs that she had heard him. After spending a little over 30 minutes talking, he said his goodbyes and headed home for the day. But this was going to be the first of many interactions. Once he was done for the day, he returned back to Martha and would spend time with her before heading home. He always took on the task of bathing her and turned it into a time where both of them could learn more about each other and build trust. Days turned into weeks, and soon Alexei began to see the result of all his hard work. He noticed that Martha began to anticipate his arrival at the end of the day and started looking at him any time he talked, her ears wide, indicating her excitement. Bath time had also become her favorite hour of the day and a time where she cooperated the most with her caretakers. One evening, Alexei arrived again at the elephant enclosure. The day had been exhausting and every part of him wanted to head back home immediately. But he and Martha had already made this their ritual, and he had no intention of missing it. He planned to only stay for a few minutes and apologize when he had to leave. But when he arrived, he was greeted with an unexpected sight. For the first time, Martha was standing on her feet, waiting for him. When he entered and sat down, she approached him cautiously and listened to him as he went on about his day and how surprised he was to see the changes in her. However, the time soon came for him to leave, but before he could turn around and walk away, Martha wrapped her trunk around his arm and tugged at him. As he looked down at her, Alexei couldn't help the big smile spreading across his face. It had been almost three months since she had met her, but this was the first time that she had touched anyone, and he was humbled to realize that he was the first to gain her trust and affection. The tiredness he felt took a back seat to his joy as he knelt down to pet her. This time around, Martha did not shy away from him and let go of his hand since she knew that he was no longer leaving. When Alexei informed the manager and his supervisor what had happened, no one believed him until they saw it for themselves. As soon as he said her name, Martha darted towards him. When he bent down to pet her, she nuzzled against him, expressing affection and genuine happiness that she hadn't shown in a long time. Seeing the growing bond between Alexei and Martha, the park decided to make him the primary caretaker of the young elephant and assigned some assistance to help him. With Alexei's help, Martha became more cheerful and no longer resisted when the staff tried to pet her. She played around with them and would often use her trunk to restrict their movement, causing everyone to burst into laughter. However, despite how friendly she got with the other staff, she never fully warmed up to anyone other than Alexei. For Martha, he was her first friend and someone who saved her when she was slowly retreating into solitude. The moments they spent alone together at the end of the day brought her so much joy. 
Alexei's ability to connect with Martha brought him attention, and soon other wildlife parks and sanctuaries with difficult animals were reaching out to him for help. It was overwhelming, but he was grateful for the opportunities to fully explore the dream he had for so long. Whenever he was free from work, he offered consultation to other centers and started to learn more about improving animal behavior and helping them connect better with their human caretakers. However, he maintained his position at the park, and no matter how busy his day was, he always made time for Martha and was there to foster the relationship between her and the other elephants that were rescued and brought to the park. As Martha grew, Alexei grew right along with her and remained by her side for 30 years. At 31 years old, almost everyone had forgotten the rocky past Martha had. Her jovial nature and love for caretakers, as well as visitors, made her the center of attraction in the park and a huge source of happiness to many. Now that he was 53 years old, Alexei had achieved more than he had expected and was a part of key projects relating to wildlife preservation. Although he enjoyed his work, Alexei was ready to retire from the park and travel abroad more often to continue to help in protecting wildlife all over the world. While he and Martha had a strong bond, he also believed that his assistants could continue his work with her. When he made the decision to leave, Alexei had started reducing the amount of time he spent with her, hoping that would allow her to detach from him. The park was sad to see him go and tried to make him stay. But a month later, his resignation was accepted and he was allowed to leave. Before he left, he went into the enclosure to say goodbye. Martha was excited to see him and was more interested in playing with Alexei than listening to what he had to say. Unable to get her attention, he played with her instead and left, hoping that she wouldn't notice his absence. But as Martha wrapped her trunk around him, Alexei realized how wrong he was. Losing familiar caretakers can cause elephants to become depressed and refuse to eat. Elephants also have incredible memories, and it is hard for them to forget someone who had taken care of them for so long. Alexei felt sad that he had to put her through a difficult situation. Despite all his time with her, he had still failed to anticipate how she would react when he was gone. To Martha, his absence had happened suddenly, and she couldn't process the fact that she might never see him again. She wrapped her trunk around him and refused to let go, drawing laughs from the staff. Martha immediately cheered up, and even as she moved, she still kept her trunk around Alexei to stop him from moving too far away from her. But thankfully, he had no plans of leaving until he knew that she was okay. When it was time to feed her, Alexei took charge once again, and also offered to bathe her. In her happiness, she would spray water out of her trunk, causing Alexei to run away laughing. Throughout the day, he remained by her side until he returned home. With Alexei's help, Martha slowly recovered once again, and the park offered him the position of manager to get him to stay. His new position came with flexible hours, which would allow him to remain close to Martha as well as the other animals he had built a bond with during his time as a caretaker. Alexei agreed, and even though he was no longer her caretaker and didn't get to see Martha every day, he still made time for her. Soon, Martha welcomed a calf of her own and the first thing she did was introduce it to Alexei. It was clear that the proud elephant mom not only wanted to show off her calf, but wanted it to develop a bond with the same person she had a strong connection with. No matter what happened, Martha was never going to forget about the kindness and affection Alexei had shown her when she needed it the most, and was confident in the fact that she had a best friend in him. What an incredible story. Would you have come back for the elephant like Alexei? Share your thoughts in the comments and see you in the next video.